Hey friends, welcome to my studio. I just love that. I've said that before in videos. I just love saying hey friends and it's been super fun to get to know so many of you. Thank you, thank you uh, for coming back. If you're seen some of my videos, done some of my traceables, if you're new, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited to have you all here. So I'm gonna try something a little bit new. I'm working on a bigger painting on my easel. It's a buffalo. And this paint, I was gonna work on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It's from Michaels. I love these. Um, they're kiln drying, dried, kiln dried stretcher bars, wood frames, really nice. And then they're splined, which means it's not only gallery wrapped, but it's tucked and then there's like a rubber, rubber gasket on them. Uh, they're level three Michaels canvases. Anyway, it's 12 inches by 12 inches and it's a little too big to video with that I normally do on my light, my art table with the video arm that's right there. So I'm gonna try having you look over my shoulder and I've got just a little tabletop easel that I'm gonna paint on. And I thought we would do some cone flowers. Here's a sketch I did. So I took a photo, some photos on one of my walks. So it's just kind of a bigger version of my uh, Black Eyed Susans. It's just, I don't remember what I, I forget what I name my paintings. <laughs> It does get kind of hard to remember after a little bit. Um, oh, it's right behind me, right over my shoulder. So it's sort of a bigger version, but we're gonna do something kind of similar to that. Put a B in it. And then I've already got a traceable up on my website. Okay, what else do I need to say? Let's just have some fun and get started. let's take a second and talk oh there's a shadow when I lean in <laughs> you can see the hi guys <laughs> um, I'll definitely pay attention to how this goes videoing this way but at least I can video a 12 by 12 when my bigger easel is uh, busy okay um, standpoint here so I am using oh where'd my color go so I decided to use a uh, light blue violet right out of the tube because I thought it might make a fun sky. I think that's pretty. I mix just a smidge of neutral gray five with it. So I get a little grayer as I go down and then titanium white. And then I'm also using a long handled number six filbert uh, artist loft i'm pretty sure that's michael's brand i don't i've not seen that anywhere else um, if someone knows let me know in the comment if that's michael's brand what else do we need to say oh and i th i'm oh i use some chalk pastel uh, to write on the canvas and you actually can see a little bit of the aqua color up in there uh, i'm not worried about it uh, chalk pastel is pure pigment so it'll, and a little binder, so it'll be totally cool. And then I'm thinking for just the background and the grasses just to get going, I'm gonna kind of keep it cool colors too. So this is phthalo green. And I think I might mix it with some, some hookers green. And we'll just kind of get some background color going. Oh, and I put a couple coats on here because I didn't add any gesso to the canvas. Sometimes I'll paint the canvas white to help it cover better, absorb better, or not absorb so much, depending on how you look at that. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. I'm, I'm about done for tonight. Can you see, let's see if I can get this next to the camera, like the little white specks right in here. There's some right there. Hope you can see that because I really can't see my camera at this angle or my phone. So I'm just like, I wasn't unhappy with the background. I just need to get a couple of layers of paint down here. Maybe you can see here. Oh, there's a couple of pops. Can you see that? But for the most part, I've got good coverage. I don't mind if the texture shows. Um, I paint on canvas. I, I kind of like the texture to show. But I'm trying to cover when it dries. I call it popping. I think the acrylic paint shrinks. You can probably see it better here. And leaves little white, white specks. So all I'm doing is just putting more paint on, trying to get, well here, maybe I should put a little, a little on that edge I just talked about. Oop, I got too much water in my brush. Um, oh yeah, I can see it. Now that it's right side up, I can really see that it's popping over here. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll be done for tonight, let it dry overnight and we'll get the traceable on there. You know, this is the second time I've tried a purple sky and I'm not sure I like it. It's actually light blue violet. <laughs> I think I might want to stick with the blues just as a personal preference. Okay guys, I'll be, I'm gonna paint a little more and I'll be back tomorrow. wanted to pop in and let you guys know the video that I'm filming of the full painting will jump a little bit because I painted the flowers and the centers on the live and I'll link the live in the vi this video description so if you want to watch me paint some of this um, in real time you can okay I'm gonna go to the time lapse for a little bit and then I'll be back after a while
Okay, let's take a look. I keep lightening, lightening. <laughs> I think I chuckle all the time. Up these flowers. I definitely want this one darker. This one's in the background receding. I'm going to put some more grasses in. Um, I I'm going to put more grasses over this one. I've added some yellow, which is nice and transparent. I might add a little bit more to make it come forward. Um, I, I wanted to pop in because I didn't know. Um, this is two days later from when I did the live video. And I don't know when the last time I popped in was. I added a little bee. Maybe you want to see that up close. Isn't that cute? It's really simple. So it's just kind of an oval shape with stripes. And then water and white or matte medium and white for the wings, so a little bit more transparent. Plus I didn't even, like I kind of, I don't know if I can get my finger in here. I left the center unpainted almost. I just kind of made that motion with my brush. It's starting to come together. I'm loving the colors. They're yummy. You know, I'm playing with some shadow and some sunlight catching it. And I think, oh well here maybe you want to see the, you know, in the background hinting at a flower. So sort of mid middle to dark values, not a lot of definition. That helps it recede. What else might you want to know? I, I'm not done with it. Oh, I need to, um, I hinted at some leaves here. I definitely want to maybe darken this one a little more. I think I'm going to come in with some purples and greens and do leaves and grasses. I might add some bees or just, you know, things growing. I really like, oh, I did lime green and white here. I like that. I think I'll like this line disappeared. I think I'll come back and put that one back in. Okay, guys, I just wanted to touch base with what I'm thinking and where I'm at. I'll be back in a bit. I think I'm done. <laughs> I This is really happy. I am going to take a photo of it and so I can step back even more from it and see how it looks. I think I've got enough, oh, like little seed things growing or, I mean, I suppose like that could even be like a little bug catching the light or whatever you want it to be. Um, I like the bee. Oh, so I added some straight up white, a little bit more white on the tips of the wings, some white here. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is get it to sparkle a little and dance. And also I'm trying to keep you kind of going like this because there's a lot going on. And then you can tell I've also kept a lot of my brush strokes, you know, going in to keep you in the painting. I warmed up the background a little bit. I was trying to lighten it, but it really didn't lighten. You know what? I didn't, I like the sky. I didn't change it. It's that um, light blue violet that I mentioned. Oh, and another thing too is I'm, I'm anxious to look at this, or excited maybe is a better word, to look at this video to see how this angle is. I've gotten a few more donations from people. It's so nice to support my channel, support my art. I super appreciate it. And I've got some Michael's coupon. I might actually buy a tabletop easel instead of, this is really more just a stand. You know, if, this would be great to display it in. You know, if you wanted to set it on a countertop or something. Here, I don't know if you want to look closer. I like, I use a lot of out of the tube color. Here, maybe it's a little too close. Although I don't know if I can back it up much. You could add more bees. I only added one. I think it helps. 
to have the lines coming over the flowers in the background helps push them back. It's hard to, my phone's crooked, so it's kind of hard to straighten it up. Here, maybe you want a little closer look. The colors are really yummy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me here in my studio. I really appreciate it. I just love the comments. I'm getting to know you guys. Great big, oh, I don't know how to do it. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.